Hey everybody, Darren Voros here. Today I am in Red Deer, Alberta and checking in on my properties here that I own. Uh, I have a property management company that works for me here and so I don't often get to see my properties uh, in person, but I'm here visiting my family and I thought I would do a walkthrough of all of my properties and I thought I would video it uh, for those of you that are interested in doing walkthroughs on your properties and seeing what I look for and what I look at. I'm basically looking at general maintenance items and anything that uh, needs to be taken care of. And also it's just a good opportunity for me to check in uh, and see what the, the properties look like in terms of how the tenants are keeping them. And I also like to check all of the fire safety things. So the smoke alarms, uh, fire extinguishers, make sure that they're all in place. Uh, so I'm here meeting my property manager and we're gonna walk through each one and I'll hopefully have a little bit of video on each property uh, of things that need to be addressed. Uh, before we get into the video today, if you haven't done so already, you can subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and please feel free to leave comments and questions below for me. And without further ado, uh, let's get in there and take a look at these properties. So we're at the first property and I wanted to just show you a couple things that are happening here in the garage and then outside as well. If you see, it's a perfect uh, day for it because the sun is shining in on the garage here. And you can see there's a bit of a gap at the bottom of this door. And this is going to be perfect for mice to get in and get into this garage and eventually work their way into the insulation and throughout. So it's a very simple fix. We're just going to get a new gasket for the bottom of this door and that should solve that problem. It's like a $20 piece. Get it from Home Depot. You can repair it yourself. But it's really important. It's happening on this side and also on the other side here. So we're just going to do both sides and hopefully that seals all of that up. The other thing that I just noticed when I was walking in here, uh, not a big deal, but there's no cover on this electrical outlet. So just to be safe, make sure nobody sticks their fingers in there and gets electrocuted. Uh, these are really simple minor repairs that'll cost, you know, $30 for this whole garage and then it's done, it's safe and it's ready for the tenants. The other thing I noticed at this property is you can see that the tenants are obviously using this as a main thoroughfare and this is pretty bad. It's being worn, the grass is being worn down and it's tough. This is something where it's like, okay, do you do a temporary fix, uh, replace the grass every year or do you just bite the bullet and put a new cement pathway in? So I think the idea here is we're actually going to put a cement pathway to connect the back to the front because the tenants are using it. This is where they bring their, their garbage out with uh, from. And so I think we're gonna make the choice to essentially pave all of this and I'll show you the front. So we've got a couple options here. As I was saying, the, the walkway, you can tell that the tenants have been using this and been walking straight out here, but I think it's gonna look a little bit weird if we have this path going straight out here. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna get them to come to this point and then we'll angle and connect to the other sidewalk. There's a chance that they're still gonna use this pathway here, but we'll try to stake it out and we'll, we'll put some new sod in. And hopefully once the pathway is here, especially in the winter, when they use it and they shovel it off clean, they'll use this pathway here uh, once it's all cemented. So we're gonna create a new cement path here and then we'll 45 degree angle it, connect to the old path and this should solve the problem for now. So one last thing that I noticed here is also that this, uh, there's a cover missing on here. So if you wanna come a little closer, there's, a cover this is a fresh air intake for the hrv so you can see on this one this one's actually a cover it's exhausting right now so this one's exhausting air that one's bringing fresh air in but if there's no cover on here and this isn't actually going to be a cover it'll be a graded cover so the air can still come in but if this is left open you can have birds in here you can have mice you can have all kinds of things so we'll get a, a cover for that as well just to fix that up super simple repair so we're at our second location here and everything looks good in the property. We did the main floor, we looked at the basement. Uh, the only issue here is obviously the tenants have disconnected the smoke detector, um, which is a landlord and as an owner is a huge concern for us. So it's one of the first things we look at to make sure that they're not disconnecting smoke detectors. And if, I, if they are, I wanna know why, is it setting it off? Is it something that just needs to, to be replaced on the battery? So we'll talk to them, we'll get it replaced, but it's always first and foremost to make sure that all the smoke detectors are working in the house. The other thing I noticed in this property is this carpet is a little bit old and um, I'm thinking that there's probably hardwood underneath this. So my property manager and I were talking about the next time the tenants move out, that we might pull this carpet, see what's underneath, maybe refinish it and it'll help with uh, maybe bump the value of the property a little bit by having hardwood throughout. So these are the only two things that we're seeing inside on this property. But other than that, it's uh, looking like it's in great shape. We're at our third location and I'm just seeing this front step is in really rough shape. It's a, a bit of a tricky situation because, you know, if you can see this is an irregular step here for one. Uh, the other thing is everything is kind of sloping down. The problem with something like this is that this is a like this is a concrete block step. It's not a hollow step. 
So to take this out would be um, a pretty big chore. So we just gotta figure out whether we're gonna cap it, whether we're gonna sort of jackhammer some of it out and re-pour re it. Uh, but this is something that needs to be addressed. It's not necessarily, I mean, it is a safety thing, but it's also just an aesthetic thing. It's to, to look at the curb appeal of the house. This is the first thing you see. So we definitely need to address this in the next, uh, before the end of this, uh, before the end of this summer. So I might actually come over here on Sunday and uh, take a jackhammer to it and see how it goes. So we're at our last property for the day and just one little minor repair here. This is um, a laminate countertop and sometimes these pieces, they have a tendency to come off. So this is a pretty simple repair, but I want to get it taken care of right away because what happens is somebody catches on it and then it breaks and then it's a nightmare to fix. So it's just a contact cement repair, a very simple thing. The other thing that I wanted to talk about in this property is the windows. So the blinds are fine here, but I think what we're going to do is we're going to replace all the blinds in the property because we replaced the windows a few years back and the blinds never got replaced. It's not necessary to replace the blinds, but I think doing some small improvements throughout the leases and improving the property is always helpful for the tenants. And also it just helps in, in marketing for new tenants when they're coming in. Not, not a lot of out-of-pocket expense, but it's probably, you know, five, six hundred dollars uh, in blinds. But that's something that we want to do every once in a while to make sure we're upkeeping the property. We're just down in the utility room in the basement of our final property. And we've got a couple things happening. We've got some water on the floor here. So this is the um, pressure relief valve for the hot water tank. This is a brand new hot water tank, so we shouldn't be having any issues with it, but it is leaking a little bit. So we'll just have the plumber come back. And often what, what's happening is just, just a bit of a, a gasket um, failure on the pressure relief valve. So it's a really simple repair, but we'll have him come back and take a look at that. And there's also a leak uh, on the floor somewhere here with our, with the main floor kitchen is draining into the, the trap and it's uh, creating a little bit of a leak as well. So we'll just have a plumber come in, take a look at that. Um, nothing major, but you wanna get these water issues figured out because obviously you don't wanna have water pooling in the basement. Simple repairs, but as long as you stay on top of everything, uh, really um, you know, t helps in, in maintaining your properties for the long term. So we had a chance to tour uh, all five properties here in Red Deer, and I have to say, everything is looking pretty good. You know, um, The properties are in good condition. They're relatively well maintained and clean and the tenants were very courteous. So it's nice, it's nice to be able to come back and, and check everything out, make sure everything's going well. I would highly suggest going into your properties at least once a year, checking the smoke alarms, making sure the tenants are doing the things that you want them to do. And if there's something you want to address it right away, either directly with the tenants or with your property manager. And I wanted to just show you guys what it looks like <laughs> when you have um, multiple properties and, and uh, you, you gain keys over the years. I think um, Jill's gonna have to go through these later and figure out which ones she's using and which ones she isn't. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button below. You can also subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and please feel free to leave comments and questions below for me. Give me one of your horror stories of uh, maybe one of your property inspections or give me something that you do on your property, yearly property inspections as well. You can leave that in the comments section below. You can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, or check out my website at darrenboros.com. With that, I'll say thank you guys so much for watching. I wish you the best of success on your real estate investing journey and I look forward to hearing your success stories very soon.